According to federal prosecutors, Monica Cannon Grant paid herself more than $170,000 last year to run her nonprofit. Her husband worked as well, but prosecutors say the couple applied for and received pandemic unemployment assistance to the tune of thousands of dollars. And that, they say, is just part of the fraud alleged here. Social justice activist Monica Cannon Grant is seen here leaving federal court this afternoon after her initial appearance. The U.S. Attorney's Office announced this morning that Cannon Grant and her husband, Clark Grant, have been indicted by a federal grand jury for defrauding donors and grant issuers, including an unnamed Massachusetts DA's office, along with the Massachusetts Department of Unemployment Assistance and a mortgage lending business, all amounting to thousands of dollars. Again, you know, she's innocent until proven guilty. That's the reaction today at the anti-violence nonprofit organization founded by Cannon Grant and her husband, Violence in Boston, which uses this building in Hyde Park as a social impact center. Well, she has me working with the gangs in the streets to make sure that, you know, we can kind of stem down violence. Can't be mad at a person like that. I mean, yeah, we make mistakes. Yeah, we may have messed up, but again, we're not educated on what a 501c3 is supposed to do all the time. But according to federal prosecutors, this was not just a minor or momentary misunderstanding. Rather, over a period of years, the defendants conspired to use VIB as a vehicle to solicit and receive charitable contributions from institutional and individual donors that they then used for a wide range of personal expenses. And this is a superseding indictment for Clark Grant. He was initially charged last October on two counts. The couple will be back in court in the near future for their arraignments. Reporting live at federal court in South Boston, Todd Keskiewicz, WCVB News Center 5. <laughs> Big surprise on that one, right?